Hi, Peter here again. In this third video in the series, I'm going to discuss WordPress plugins and show you how to install what I consider to be some of the most essential ones on your new WordPress site. So let me go ahead and share my screen. So here you are in the back office of your WordPress website and I've gone to plugins and it's showing me that by default, the default WordPress installation has installed a Kismet anti-spam and hello Dolly. Um, now there are some WordPress purists out there who will probably shoot me for this, but frankly, I don't think they are necessary. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and just remove them just so that I've got less clutter. Right, the first plugin that we're going to talk about is to do with performance. Now, Google uses the speed of your website as a, quite a major ranking factor when it decides whether to put you on the first page of Google. So in the first tutorial, I assume that you're going to be going with SiteGround as your web hosting platform, but uh, you may have gone with others and I'm sure they'll have similar plugins for performance. So let's just go search for SiteGround and you'll see it brings up here SG Optimizer. And you can click here for more details and it will show you some more information about the plugin, screenshots, reviews, etc. And you can go ahead and click the install button. Now the great thing to, about plugins is you can basically deactivate them and uninstall them. It generally doesn't cause a problem. Think of your WordPress installation as your iPhone, then Plugins are the apps, and apps add functionality to your WordPress website. So they really are an important concept. And there are thousands of apps, sorry, thousands of plugins available for WordPress that do a huge amount of different things. And one of the major things I recommend you look, look out for when you choose to use a plugin is how many active installations they actually have. Um, when they were last updated, and whether they're compatible with your website. So if you find a plugin that looks like it'll do exactly what you're looking for it to do, but it was updated three years ago, it's updated with your version of WordPress, and it's got 200 active installations, chances are it's probably not very well supported, and I wouldn't recommend that you install it on your website. So let's go ahead and activate SG Optimizer. It will give me a message when that's done. Okay, and you'll notice on the left-hand side here on my menu bar, it's automatically put the configuration area for the SG Optimizer. Now, if we look at these settings, other default settings, there are just a couple of them that I want to change, and I want to explain why. You can enable this here, but I'm going to show you a better plugin overall. The one thing that's really important is that you enable this GZ compression, compression because that's a, a server-side um, thing that needs to take place. And if you do it here, it just makes it a lot more simple. But don't enable any of these other options here. We're going to use another tool for that. And if you enable them in both plugins, then um, it causes conflict. So just make sure the GZ compression is um, optimized. And then we're going to talk a bit about HTTPS. Now, a few years ago, it was a big deal to have to install a, a secure certificate on your website. Now, thankfully, it's a lot easier and it's for free if you use what I'm going to show you now. So, let's move me out of the way there. Basically, a secure certificate is what Google is looking for. It wants to make sure that all sites are who they say they are. So let's go back to our cPanel, which you'll recall from tutorial one. And if you go down here to security, you'll see let's encrypt. Click on that. And then you'll select your domain. And all you do is click install. Don't use the wildcard. I'm not going to go into the details of that. You just install that certificate. It takes a couple of minutes for it to become active. And then once that's done, you can go back to 
the SG optimizer here and just enforce it. So it gives you a message here. It's going to be replacing all your links. So just go ahead and confirm that. So HTTP is enabled. So now, no matter how people try and access your site, it will automatically route via your um, HTTPS connection. Okay, I hope that's clear. Now, let's go back to plugins over here and add new. The second plugin that I'm going to suggest that you install is Hummingbird. So just type into here Hummingbird. Now, this company, WP New Dev, I don't even know how you pronounce their name, but they have fantastic plugins. Um, I'm going to be using a number of them and they don't have an affiliate program and the non pro versions are all free, but I highly recommend that you upgrade to the pro versions if you can afford it. Um, their membership for all of their plugins is like $50 a month. So it's quite a lot. Um, and probably not, you know, recommended unless you've got a professional website, e-commerce website or you, creating multiple websites. But for now, the free versions are perfectly fine. So let's go and install Hummingbird. Takes a little while, installed, and it's activated. And you'll see it's also put itself on your menu. Let's go down here. And you can run a performance test. Obviously, the bigger your site, the longer this will gonna be gonna take, but seeing as the site is brand new, this won't take too long. Okay, so our site's performing pretty well. And then let's just go and have a look at um, what's been set up here. Gives you a whole lot of different suggestions. I recommend you go and activate page caching. Browser caching is already activated. And this plugin is more powerful than this SG optimizer. That's why I recommend that you, you don't enable all those other settings in the SG optimizer. So there's a whole lot more settings and there's a lot of information on their website, but basically this allows you to, to benchmark your website on a regular basis. 89 out of a hundred is really pretty good. And then there are other suggestions you can, you can go through here. But I'm not going to cover all of those in this. It's just I recommend, highly recommend that you install this tool. You'll see the GZ compression is enabled, but we automatically enabled in the last in the SiteGround optimizer. As I said, that's a server side thing that needs to happen, and that's why I installed the SG optimizer because it allows you to do that without going and messing around on your on your server. Okay, so um, the next really important plugin that I want to talk about is called Smush. It's by the same team that made Hummingbird. So let's go to add new. And okay, install. Now, the great thing about this particular plugin is that no matter what images you upload to your website, Smush will automatically take care of fully optimizing them for the web. So you can upload a 10 megabyte file and Smush will optimize it so it still looks great on your website, but doesn't penalize you like crazy on Google when you know, your browser tries to open a 10 meg file. So let's go to the dashboard here again. Oh, that's sorry, that's Hummingbird. You want to go to Smush.
Okay, you just go ahead and begin the setup. Automatically optimizing your uploads. Strip the image of metadata, unless you're running a photography website where you want to show people all, you know, all the professional stuff from your camera, then just strip out the metadata. And just improve and then just finish the setup with it. So it's not going to find any images on this website because it's brand new. So it hasn't been able to save anything. But that's all ready now. So now I can be confident that no matter what um, images that I upload, they're going to look great on the front end while still having my site optimized on the back end. The next really important um, plugin that I want to discuss is Forminator, also from the same team. So let's go and add Forminator. I don't know why I can find that. So they from the same team. Install it. There are thousands of different form builders for WordPress. I just really like this particular one. It works really, really well. The free version has some awesome functionality. I'll cover the detailed setup of Forminator in a, a later video. But for the moment, just make sure it's installed. So just to summarize, we've installed three what I consider to be essential plugins, SiteGround Optimizer and Hummingbird for Speed, Smush to make sure that your images that you upload going forward are all optimized, and then Forminator for forms. In the next video, I'll discuss pages and posts on your website, as well as widgets. Thank you very much for watching.